A big part of my understanding of color theory has to do with me being kind of a lazy painter, especially when it comes to the underpainting. I'm doing this and I'm just trying to block it in. And I put out some colors that are really bright and fluorescent as I usually do. And I don't always fully think through it. I just look for colors that are kind of in the painting and go from there. And I'm at a point where I need yellow. And you might look at these colors like a green, fluorescent red, fluorescent orange, and a couple of phthalos and this interference color and go like, how on earth would you get yellow from that? But I'll give you a second to guess how I'm gonna make yellow. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna take this green and a little tiny bit of this bright orange right here. And by mixing those two, you get a color that functions as a yellow. Challenge yourself by putting out really weird limited palettes and play around with color because I feel like you'd be surprised what you can get with a limited color palette. 